Today in Proverbs 11:20, we're learning to love what God loves and hate what God hates. All right, GBS, today when you're watching this, I am blessed to be given the opportunity to tell you what God hates and to tell you what God loves. If you want to know, stay tuned. Proverbs 31. Mom! What up, everybody? You're tuned into Ghetto Bible Study, a dope way to read the Bible. I'm your host, Proverbs 31 Mom. And today, we're always trying to learn more about God, right? I don't know about you, but I am. I want to know what he's like, the things that he like, the things that he don't like. I want to be on his good side. I want to be blessed by him. You know how it is when you want something. You want to be on your best behavior to, you know, to get the things that you want. So we're getting a little inside look today. And scripture teaches us some things that God hates and some things that God loves. Not some things, but a thing that he hates and a thing that he loves. Now, before I go forward, I have to apologize for the congestion in my nose and in my throat and in my voice. I do have a cold and I got it from my baby. So I'm doing my best. It's almost midnight. I got a headache. So pray for you, girl. <laughs> but it's important for me to tell y'all this important secret about God. It's not even a secret because it's in the Bible. So it's in a manual. But how many of us open up our paper manuals and read it? We don't. And it sucks because the Bible is like a paper manual of the right way to live. And it has a lot of key attributes and, and notes and hacks <laughs> about God that will help us live our best life here on earth. So here's one of those things that God hates. And that is the Lord hates people who make plans to do bad things. And there you have it. People who actually sit around and plot of evil ways to do bad stuff, God not only hate what they're doing, but he hate those types of people. Now the other part of the scripture says, but God loves those people who always do the right thing. Can we be that? Can we be those people who always do the right thing? And what is the right thing? Well, it's whatever God is telling us to do. That's the right thing. If we read in our Bible, this instruction manual, we are listening for signs and people who speak on God's behalf in church, pastors who go to church. Scripture that's talking to us. Music that's you know, God-centered. There are so many ways that God speaks to us. And if we listen and we obey, just reading the, the instruction manual alone and taking a little bit of time to actually hear from God, man, when we do it, God loves those type of people. I want to be one of those people, don't you? It's not hard. Just do the right thing. I know it's not always easy to do the right thing, but it's always what's best. I'm gonna tell you, it's usually very uncomfortable, but it's always what's best. And in the end, I believe we're all not just better off, but happier when we know we've done the right thing with every situation. Now, there's two people that come in mind with this scripture. It's my uncle and it's my mother. This past week, my uncle just kidnapped my auntie. My mom is taking care of her sister and he decided to pop up at her house and he had a gun and he kidnapped her. Police report said he put her in the back of a, a pickup truck and when they found her, she was balled up with a blanket thrown over her. He got her drunk, she passed out, she didn't remember anything. 
Now, I don't know how long he plotted to do something like that, but God hates that. And I feel awful at the fact that a family member, like I can name someone that God hates, that's crazy. Then you got my mom that's just trying to, literally just trying to take care of her sister. She's her caregiver. And I love the fact that God loves her. That makes me feel so good. And the craziest part about all of this is mama just keep asking us to pray for her brother. To pray for her brother. Can we do that? When you get a chance, when you get the opportunity, pray for my Uncle Lester. That God touches his heart the same way that he touched Sal Paul's heart. Remember the Christian killer? And he blinded him and he changed him. And now this dude wrote a third of the Bible. I believe something like that can happen for my uncle because it's happened. He ain't no Christian killer. He's a hustler. He think of a lot of bad things and he actually goes through with them. But, but God, but God. So what are we learning out of all of this? Well, we learn what God loves and what God hates, who he loves and who he hates. And we definitely want to be people that God loves. And that's simple. All we got to do is <laughs> do the right thing. All right, everybody. If you like what you heard, then give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep it alive. Now that's what's up. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Do the right thing.